Let's write the formula for isooctane. So we're going to write the structural formula for isooctane. This one's a bit challenging. So we have octane. It ends in A-N-E. It means it's an alkane. It's all going to be carbons with single bonds surrounded by hydrogen. Oct, that tells us we're going to have eight carbons. But iso, that's a bit of an older name. It's not the IUPAC nomenclature. So if we looked at this, typically how iso is used, we'd end up with 2-methyl heptane, and that would look like this here. We numbered the carbons. We have our alkane, all single bonds. Hep, that's the seven carbons. We have a methyl group, CH3, on the second carbon. There's the second carbon. So this would be 2-methyl heptane. And when we're talking about iso, that usually means we have a methyl group on the second carbon right there. So this would be kind of the way you would name this if you were using iso the way it's intended to be used. However, because isooctane, it's a very common ingredient in gasoline, it actually doesn't refer to 2-methylheptane. It refers to a different compound. Let's take a look at that. So when we're talking about isooctane, the formula or the structure for isooctane, usually what we're talking about is 2,2,4-trimethylpentane. There's a link in the description to more about isooctane and why this is an important compound. So here, let's label our chain because the longest chain, that's the pentane, 5. Everything's single bonded. Then we have methyl, that's the CH3, and we have three of them. So they're on the second, second, and fourth carbon. So here's our second carbon. Here's one of the methyl groups, the CH3. Here's the other, so that's the 2,2. Two. And then on the fourth, we have another carbon. So 1, 2, 3, trimethyl, 2, 2, and then the fourth right there. And note that we have carbons here, and then each carbon will have four bonds, so we'll have hydrogens around these carbons as well. You want to look at the molecular formula, that looks like this here. And note we have the two here, this one's kind of behind this one. So two ways you could draw the structure for isooctane. Probably best just to use the IUPAC names, then we avoid any of that confusion. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.